Hello, Herman here with another episode in the ClearPass workshop series, where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with Wired, Wireless, Active Directory, and much more. And in this episode, I will show you how you can use custom fingerprints. So in a short story, what happened? I ordered from China a cheap IP camera. And when I connected that camera to my ClearPass protected network, uh, what happens is that this device is uh, classified as a generic, generic unclassified device. So ClearPass could not determine that this uh, obscure device is an IP camera. And we can go here into the endpoint attribute. So since ClearPass 6.7, you can see here all the profiling information. So it's yeah, just an unclassified device. And uh, you can see there is a DHCP fingerprint, but uh, yeah, the MAC address, there is no MAC vendor known. Um, so it is a bit a weird device, but fortunately we can fix this with the custom fingerprint feature for ClearPass. So what we can do is we can go into the endpoint database. So this is where all the devices are. And this is the device 0088, um, which is a, a Mac vendor that's not known. So probably this, uh, Chinese vendor. Just pick some MAC addresses, uh, yeah, which are rogue and cannot be used to classify the device for that. But fortunately, there are fingerprints, so we can use that information to do the classification. And if this is a known device, we can here just uh, move this into, uh, it's a network camera. But then if we click here, yeah, we can see that there is no entry for this vendor. And yeah, we cannot just put in a arbitrary vendor name uh, because it's not uh, recognized. So what do we need to know? We need to go here into the administration and then dictionaries fingerprints. So th this is where we can uh, create our fingerprint classification. So let's add one. So here we can uh, use the existing network camera category. Uh, this is uh, where we need to create a new one. So let's put an entry for this uh, specific vendor and then the name. So this allows us to create a new fingerprint. So we can see we have that now. So let's go back into the endpoint database. And in the endpoint database, now we should be able here to select the correct vendor and uh, device type. But if I have more of these devices, um, it would be good if we can let ClearPass uh, from now know that he can uh, recognize these devices. So we can do that by creating a new fingerprint rule. So if we select the device, we press here update fingerprint and we can add a fingerprint rule. And here we can set the category. And here we can set that if it's an unknown MAC address and if these DHCP options are set, then we will classify the device as this specific type. So this will take some time. And we can now see that the device is properly categorized as a network camera. Um, so that's good. So I do have another one. Let's connect the other IP camera and see what happens now. So let's go into the monitoring, into the access tracker. It has not yet connected. And there it is. And if we now click into this entry, what we can see is that even with a different Mac prefix, so 0066 instead of 0088, but still an invalid prefix, we can see that it automatically found that this is a network IP camera. So, so what we have seen now is that based on devices that are connecting to the network and are not properly recognized by ClearPass uh, by creating a new device classification and a new fingerprinting rule, we can make ClearPass to automatically recognize devices that are uh, specific in your environment. If you have more common devices that are not recognized, you can submit the fingerprints to ClearPass. Uh, I tried to do that with this fingerprint as well, uh, but because it looks like the fingerprints are shared among other Chinese cameras, 
uh, yeah, they decided not to put it in. Uh, but this allows you, this feature allows you to create your own fingerprint for your own network. So that's it for now. So please like, comment and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.